a little bit about who I am. Of course, I come from a business family who have been in the business for a good over 100 years. Uh, personally, I uh, studied here in Bahrain. Then I moved to India at age of 11 and studied there for about three years in a boarding school. Then I moved to England for two years. And after that, came back to Bahrain. At the time when I came back into Bahrain in late 70s, at those days, business style was totally different from today. And I was kept to look after the logistic department within the family business in the group. It was there for about three years. And then I was moved to the Marine Division, which was my passion at the time and still is. Uh, I like to do things with water sport. We represent Yamaha, which is an international brand. And uh, the first engine was ever shipped out of Japan came to Bahrain. That's back in 1960, before I was born. That gives you a little bit about myself in progression. Then, of course, through the family business, we st I started to go up the ladder. Uh, after that, being in Marine for 20 years, I was shifted to the Home Appliances Division. We represent LG Electronics and then was there for a while. And then I was shifted into the B2B section, which is business to business section. And I'm a director of board of directors in AGM Koeji. I think the most too important that I always relate to is the discipline and attitude. Being working outside or studying outside, one of the things I learned was discipline. And the second thing that I've learned in life is to have a, a good attitude because having a discipline without attitude or having attitude without discipline, I don't think it will work. These two would be my advice to anybody that wants to look into the future. Those days there were no email, there was no WhatsApp, you know, social media was not there. So to send the telex, when I first joined the company, to, we used to write a telex and then the fax machine came. That was a challenge at the time. Co co communication with the principal was a big challenge. You really need to go and see everything. Today, in a, sitting on your office, you can Google whatever you want. I, when I look back, I think that is something that was really, really tough. But we were doing everything need to be done. Being in a family business is an opportunity uh, because you're dealing with a family. It has its own challenges, yes. But uh, if you have proper corporate governance, if you have a proper system, policies and procedure, it makes life much easier. You know, in life, you always endeavor to try for the best and to keep on raising the bar. When you want as a person or as an individual or as a human, you always like to go up higher and higher. That is given. But what I would say 40 years ago and today, uh, the answer is no. As you need to try every day, you got to go to work every day, you got to be positive about work every day. And you have, have to have a good attitude, especially when you're working with people who are working for you. They are the, your employee partners. So you need to make sure that you're holding the helm properly. Future of the Asian Kuhuji, we're very optimistic. Yes, market goes up and down. It's challenging sometimes, like right now, but definitely we are expanding the business. We're looking into the future, looking into a new venture. This is part of the family business. Of course, as we evolve, the country has evolved as well. Uh, uh, if you're talking about 40 years ago, the L there were no LMRA, for example, where there used to be Ministry of Labor. So a lot of things have changed in the past 40 years, of course, and it's going even better as we go forward. Uh, things were much more easier to do business 40 years ago than today. Basically, it was a much smaller market. People know, knew each other. The system and process was not that in force. So things were happening by a phone call. Today, no, you got to go through the process. So it is. it has got its own drawback. But again, this one has got its own challenges. Well, basically, I'm, the, I'm part of Bahrain Chamber of Commerce. I'm a second vice chairman. And uh, the role is to support this private sector. Uh, we have very much involvement with the Bahrain government in all the points that we discuss. Anything to relate to the economy, Bahrain Chamber of Commerce comes in. We have a very, very 
great leaders, His Majesty the King and His Majesty, his, the Crown Prince, uh, Prime Minister, they are very, very optimistic and they have plan and they have uh, vision that which we are following. For example, 2030 is very, not very far away from it. So as a, a being optimistic, absolutely we're optimistic. There are challenges with regards in general market, but we are very much optimistic about the future. My advice to anybody who's working, if the job doesn't feel good, don't do that job. And that's why I'm very much passionate. I come very early in the morning before the stop. And that's why I'm still going. So that being passionate about something, that gives you the edge. Okay, my name is Mohammed Kohiji. Well, I'm happy to be here doing an interview for Life and Style magazine.